Hey Pat, it's Midnight Designer. This is just a brief video to announce that my single player Seven Days to Die World is available for download so that you can play along at home. So in order to get the uh, world folder, you need to go to my website, heypats.com, heypats.com, click on the world download folder. And by the way, if you're ever wondering when things are happening, um, there's a schedule on this website that will allow you to see when everything is happening. And uh, so you can catch things various uh, places, either live streaming or recorded episodes. There are also the links to all my stuff up in this piece. So all of that is very cool. But let's focus. We go to the world download page, which is right here. All. And then here are the instructions, which I'm basically going to read off to you and demonstrate for you. Uh, if you uh, don't have access to this video and you just want to read the instructions, here are the instructions on how to um, do everything that you need to do in order to make the world your own. But we're going to skip all of that and we're going to go right down to the download folder. And then it is going to uh, give us this and then we will download it. Trust me, it's fine. So go to download anyway, and eventually you will get a download of the Jedi folder, which I have um, already downloaded, obviously. Now, because I have it, it's mine. It's mine. So once you have the uh, zip folder downloaded, as you saw in that uh, previous thing, let me reopen that and I can show you more better. -er. There are two things here. There is the actual Jedi file folder, which is the world save. And there's a location text, which will tell you the location of my main base, the platform base, and uh, the maze base so that you can get to those places quickly. So once you have downloaded the folder and extracted the folder out of the zip file, what you want to do is copy it to the game save locations. Now the game save locations are uh, in the roaming folder. If you don't know how to get to the roaming folder, uh, that's not a problem. You hit the window button on your keyboard and R at the same time. Apologies in advance to the Mac users because I don't know what that is on Mac. So you will hit that and then this run box will pop up and you will then type in uh, the percent app data and percent and hit OK and that will pull up this folder here. Uh, and then you will go to seven days to die. You will go to saves. You will go to random gen. And then you will copy the Jedi folder into your random gen saves folder. Now that you now have the game on your system in your seven days to die. But the problem is that it, the game still thinks that you am I. And you am not I, you am you. So what you need to do is you need to find out what your Steam 64 ID number is. In order to do that, you want to go to the steamid.io that is linked in the description. And this will convert your, this will give you the information you need. So you'll type in your name as I've typed in Midnight Designer and this is your steam 64 id so you will copy that and then we will go back to our folder we will go into jedi we will go into player and you will see here that uh, we have uh, the actual player file and then the map file so what you're going to want to do is change this number nope no nope. what you're going to want to do is change this number here and paste it and do the same for the map. Now make sure you don't mess with the dot map and the dot TTP. Otherwise everything's going to be foobar. So at that point you are basically done. You close out the folder and you head back to the game. You load up Jedi and you should wind up standing in front of the main base at the old military camp which we set up in the first day of the let's play so and uh the uh as i had said that text file shows you where the three major points of interest are so you will have access to those so 
all the instructions that I've read out are on the world download page. So if you just follow that step by step, you should be fine. And that's all I got. The Jedi world belongs to you now, Pat. Have at it. I'll try to update it every week or so, um, you know, so that you've got the new stuff. But you may not want it. You may want to just uh, have uh, this world and then start building and playing and doing what you do because you do it so well. There you go. World download. It's for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. You know what? You know the drill. You got this. Have fun. Thanks for watching and have a great day.